So this is every bit as awesome as it seems. Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm just going to say it. Screw elegance. Yes, I've done videos on dressing elegantly, but I've come to think that it's truly overrated, and let me tell you why. Elegance is this game you can play where you make yourself look your most beautiful, and you blend in with everyone, and you will smoothly fit in with society. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are a million and one videos on how to dress elegantly, but what about the rest of us who want to dress fun and creatively? As much as I know that dressing elegantly will help me look my most beautiful and everyone will compliment me, I also know that the most interesting and fun and disruptive women in history did not blend in, nor did they want to. So how can we develop some style rules to have more fun with fashion and just express our ideas more creatively? Well, in that regard, who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. I am your daddy. I hate that term. It's just what came to mind. I don't even think anybody even says that anymore. This is going to be a multi-part series, so make sure you catch the others. The first principle is don't be afraid to color mix. I found this floral jumpsuit at a resale shop from Topshop. I thought this thing is pretty wild. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure about it. So right next to the floral jumpsuit, I found this giant vintage green dress. Let's put on some shoes here, shoes. So I wasn't originally trying to make a crazy outfit, but once I saw the crazy, I just wanted to get even crazier. At first glance, this jumpsuit wasn't calling for a green sidekick here, but I think that they're both so wild that they go together. Sometimes I think you just have to dive in with color. You just have to add it together and go with it. And you know what I'd like to try really quick is I would just like to belt this. I think this is fun and crazy. And that's exactly what I was looking for. But it's really the bold colors that are making this work. This green isn't really in this jumpsuit, actually. Um, there's nothing to match there, but it's the confident pairing of the two pieces that makes it work. Oftentimes, all it takes is your own confidence, and then people are on board with it. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. This works more often than one would think. So don't be afraid to color mix. So with that being said, you also don't want to be afraid to color match. I am matching the pink in my jacket to the pink in this dress. And I have to admit that this jacket and this dress, the patterns are really busy, very much clashing. We're just gonna see if we can make this work. So by matching the pink to the pink, we're just gonna go for it. Let's talk about this weirdo jacket I'm wearing. So this is a vintage shirt jacket of sorts, which is a little baffling, but really interesting to me. And I'm just gonna start by rolling up the sleeves because there's a lot of volume going on. And then there's a lot of volume in the length of this dress. So I have to get it under control in some way. Okay, so we're starting with that. Here in the back, I've got a, a split up the back and it's, you know, it's for fashion reasons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that and tie my jacket up front. Okay, now we're getting somewhere and I do think this is fun. I think that if you're going to get this wild with your pinks in two different patterns, then you should probably go all the way and maybe have some really fun party shoes, which I never seem to have. But this is what I'll do. I'm going to put on a fun party scarf in my hair. And of course it has pink in it of some sorts. It's the confidence that's gonna tie it all together. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna just give it a little twist up front and then I'm gonna tie it in the back. Okay, and this is my going to the barbecue fun, wacky ant look, because you know what? That's honestly what I am. I'm the fun, wacky ant, and there are certain expectations for the fun, wacky ant. And those expectations are show up in a wacky way. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to disappoint my niece. So um, here I am, wacky ant style. And I think this is way more fun than the gray elegant suit that I could wear. But I'm having much more fun in my pink and purple crazy outfit. <laughs> now, I don't feel like 
This dress is even vibrant enough. I feel like it could be saying more. So, you know, it's all up to you and your comfort level. It also could just be black and you're matching pink in here and pink in here. It's all up to you. What are we gonna do next? So you might not ever think of wearing funny clothes, but I often do because often the funny clothes are the most interesting. So this style principle is pick something funny, try it on, who knows? And then pick something funny to go with it and just expand on the funniness. I mean, I'm not saying wear a costume, but check this one out. So I found this skirt. And this skirt to me was very funny. First of all, it's fuzzy. It's a fuzzy skirt and it's super stretchy and it's neon. It's so weird. I found this skirt to be funny. So I picked it up and thought, yeah, I want to do something with this. So I picked up this fuzzy bright green sweater to go with it. And I, I think that it actually <laughs> works pretty well. The normal green kind of takes down the craziness of the neon green. And I'm very happy with my funny outfit. I would like to try to use my funny item in one more way. So let's try that. Because it's so stretchy, I think I'm going to be able to wear this as a shirt. Okay, so here I am with my fuzzy funny item as a tube top. And um, I've paired it with just some normal black trousers that are a little bit wide leg. And this jacket that I kind of had sitting around that has a bunch of flappy stuff on it. I'm sure that there's a purpose to this jacket. I've just never had anybody inform me what that purpose is. I'm sure it's gonna show up in the comment section one of these days. So here we have my weird jacket, my fuzzy tank top, and my black trousers. And I just feel like this is so much more fun than if I had worn like a simple silver silk shell, you know? Like just so much more fun and creative. And the fuzziness adds this cool texture and the neon adds this interest that wasn't there before. So I'm just saying, pick the funny item and try it out. Say hello to one of the handiest items in my wardrobe, which is just a black kind of cat suit. And what's amazing about this is that no one's actually really going to see this cat suit, but it feels amazing. So you can feel amazing and you can be completely covered up and comfortable when you dive into layering volume over your comfortable item. And that's what the next style principle is. We're going to be layering this voluminous dress. We're going to be layering this voluminous dress. And I want you to not be afraid of volume. Don't worry about belting in. Don't worry about your figure. This really is the best thing about getting older and feeling really good about yourself is that you don't always have to worry about whether your girls look okay or does my waist look small enough? How does my rear end look? Who cares? Just feel good and be comfortable and be cute and be creative with what you're doing. And speaking of being creative, I don't think a beige dress and a black cat suit are the most creative I could be or the most fun, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pile on some jewelry and we'll see how that changes things. So for this look, I'm going to put on these silver hoops, this big silver bead necklace and this silver cuff. This is very nice and very comfortable. Look at how much volume in this dress. I do not have to think about how anything looks on my body. I just feel like myself, I feel like I can really be seen and I do feel like it's a creative outfit. I think the jewelry really helps it feel creative, but boy, is it comfortable. And I think that's really an important part of style too, is that you feel very comfortable and good. So suppose you're like, but Diana, I really do want to cinch in my waist. I don't want to just let it all hang out. And I would say, why? But then I would say, okay, go ahead and add a belt and let's see what that looks like. I feel like cinching it in makes it less interesting, actually, which is strange. It is pretty in its own way, but honestly, you know what's better? Is having a nice meal with your friends and not thinking about something tied around your waist. Or being out at an event all night and not feeling anything restricting anywhere on your body. 
Okay, suppose you didn't want to go crazy with a necklace like that. Let's just pick a simpler one. And I think for fun, I'm going to switch out these summery shoes for something more fall. Here we are with some little black booties and my voluminous dress. And I think that if you throw a black jacket over this, it's going to be so adorable. But we're talking about getting wild and crazy, so maybe I can throw something wild and crazy over this. You know I have something. All I have to do is look in my closet. I found two pretty wild things that I would like to try. And we're going to throw on this faux leather shirt. And we're going to wear this like a little leather jacket. And that's the thing I, I really like about short jackets, is that if you do have something with a lot of volume, you don't necessarily want to belt it, it can cinch it in a little bit. Not so much that you feel it, but enough that you don't feel like you're floating, like you're a floating tent. Well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. So I think that even though this is beige and black and we're talking about getting crazy with your outfits, I think that no matter what voluminous dress you throw over this cat suit, it's going to be cute. And if you feel like reining it in a little bit, then go ahead and add your little jacket. That's all I'm trying to say. I know this wasn't as crazy as I wanted it to be. Should I try one more thing? I'm going to try one more thing because I would like this to be a little wilder. I looked in my closet and I found this little jacket that has a bunch of mirrors and colors in it. And it also has plenty of volume. So I actually think this is pretty fun. This is a nice way for me to get to wear my comfortable cat suit and still have plenty of coverage, but still be very, very different and memorable. I think that it does deserve a scarf for even more volume. And I think we should do it. This one isn't long, but I really feel like these colors are, are pretty good. So let's just see what's happening here. Oh, I think that's really cute. I'm bringing the attention up here to where all these colors and mirrors are and to my bouncy little haircut, which I think is all very fun together. You may agree, you might not agree, but I'm pretty happy with this look. And I feel like it's very fun and comfortable for an artsy look in the evening or the fall or at the pumpkin patch. Is that where everybody is in the fall? Everybody's at the pumpkin patch everybody. I'm never at the pumpkin patch, but I think I found my pumpkin patch outfit. Here we go. Continuing on the volume theme for one more second is we're going to go with really voluminous pants. Now these are elastic waist pants that are super comfortable and they have the most fabric and these huge pockets. I do not know where you find them because I found them at the thrift store, but they are so comfortable. I love them. Let's add more volume. Let's not be afraid. We're going to go with this lovely lavender duster. I'm going to say yes. I feel like I do need a belt, but I'm loving all of this volume. It just feels really good to be walking around in all this swishy fabric. And I do not know about this white belt, but that's what I grabbed. Actually, I think that white belt adds a lot. I think that this is a really beautiful outfit. This duster has a lot to it, and I am, I am unafraid of my duster. I think that if you're not afraid of just letting your fabric blow in the breeze, it's perfect for the pumpkin patch. Not the pumpkin patch. There's other places to go. The only problem is now I feel like just wearing this and not changing my clothes. This is a supremely comfortable outfit. Do not be afraid of volume. All right, I'm just going to keep on this nude colored tank top, but I just want to show you that the next style principle is to choose simple shapes. And in this case, it's just a simple straight skirt and a nude tank top and a belt. So you choose simple shapes and then just throw something wild on top of it. In this case, I found this brand new with tags at the thrift store. And I would love to try this on right now. I already know this one's going to require some sunglasses, so we're doing it. I can tell you now, this is every bit as awesome as it seems. <laughs> this coat is so dramatic. Look at this. So you pick something crazy like this and just wear it over something simple and just let it be wild and just own it and just be fun and let people guess what is up with that lady in that huge coat. And they're going to guess... Where did she go? I don't even see her anymore. This is a fun, fun coat. Let's try another crazy jacket. 
Let's try on this vintage silk blazer from my French Girl Style video. Simple shapes, crazy jacket. I think it's totally fun. It's easy to do. Crazy jackets are so easy to find. They are everywhere. Oftentimes you can find a vintage jacket that's a little wilder, but there are plenty of wild jackets out in the wild. So uh, definitely go find yourself one. All right, it's hot in here and I am done with this video, but there's going to be more in this series because there's way more ideas that we need to discuss about making your most creative, artsy, fun, and funky style. And when those videos are ready, they're going to appear right here. So if you like videos like this, make sure to check them out and let's hang out. I'll see you soon.